Hey guys, it's Lindsay Hoffman with the Red Carpet Report. Today we're at the Paramount Theater for the 2015 Hair and Makeup Awards. Sure, sure. Hi, hi John, I'm hi. Lindsay, how are you? Good. <laughs> so how do you think the evolution of makeup in movies has changed over time? That's interesting. When you look at some of the stuff done in the silence by Lon Chaney, it's, that's as good as it gets, I think. Um, seriously, I think that the materials have changed and the tools have changed. Um, and you know, they have new silicones and all kinds of stuff, but, and the evolution of prosthetics, I mean, there's more and more amazing materials and the use of computers in terms of yeah, designing, yeah. but truthfully, it, it hasn't changed. <laughs> no, I'm serious. The, the, the craft of makeup, like hair, has not changed. Like painting, it's, it's still the same thing. And that's something like tonight is to recognize, I mean, these are artisans, you know, I mean, I have fired makeup and hair people because they were lousy, but the good ones are artists. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to give Rick this Life Achievement Award. I mean, one, because we've known each other forever. We've worked together a lot. And he really is brilliant. Yeah, so. I mean, you guys are kind of the reason behind this event. I mean, with American Werewolf, um, you know, the showing of him transforming to a werewolf was the first thing of its time. Then I was talking to Rick about it. You guys created that. How did you kind of come up with that concept and make well, it happen? I wrote that. I wrote that. This is to encourage people. I wrote that script in, in 1969 when I was 18, and I made the movie in 1981. So I was written by an 18-year-old. So you know, I think I don't know. Yeah, I mean, when you're 18, you're like, I can do it. Why not? What, right? And why not? Can we well, have the? I gave the script to Rick when we made Schlock in 1971, <laughs> so he had 10 years to figure it out. Yeah, that's what he was saying. That's what he's saying. And so, what do you think is going to be the next innovative thing to come? Because you're always on the edge. You're always seeing something new. I, you know what? There'll always be surprises, but it's just technology. Filmmaking hasn't changed in 100 years. If you look at a production still from 1895 and a production still from 2015, you'll see a recording device, meaning a camera, whether it's digital or film or whatever, or video, and there'll be technicians behind it and actors in front of it. It really has not changed. It's it's it's, it's, it's motion pictures, but you know it requires collaboration of many crafts and skills. Yeah, and then last question: You're from Chicago, right? I was born in Chicago. I'm from Chicago. Uh, what's your favorite deep dish pizza? Okay, I was born in Chicago. You don't know My parents moved to Los Angeles when I was four months old. So you don't have the, do you have a favorite deep dish still? I was a surfer, although during the Blues Brothers, John Belushi used to take me to a place that had really good pizza. I have no idea what it was called. I'm I hope it was the well nice. That's my favorite. It's okay. It's okay. Well, congratulations and have fun presenting. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, tell me by giving it a thumbs up. Click subscribe so you can see more of my interviews and leave me a comment what your favorite hair and makeup tips are. See you guys next time.